Hello, my name is Ray Hernandez, and I've had UFO-related contact with non-human intelligence, together with my family and daughter. I have also had an out-of-body experience, a series of near-death experiences initiated by non-human intelligence, and numerous paranormal experiences and synchronicities. I firmly believe that it is extremely important for experiencers of contact with non-human intelligence to publicly discuss their experiences. We need to get the thousands, if not millions of individuals that have had contact with non-human intelligence to begin to public, publicly discuss this phenomenon, which we all know is very real. I have told all of my friends, members of my wife's Catholic Church, and even my supervisor, and fellow attorney colleagues at my work of my family's experiences. Uh, some of these individuals, as a matter of fact, have told me about their own paranormal contact experiences or uh, paranormal experiences uh, that their family members have had. We need to create a, an environment that will end the fear and ridicule that prohibits others from coming out of the closet and to openly discuss their so-called paranormal contact experiences. It is important for humanity to know that we live in a very complex, multi-dimensional reality that is teeming with non-human intelligence. It is time for humanity to be awakened and transformed to this new reality. In order to ascertain my credibility, let me provide you with a, be, a brief summary of my background. I am one of the co-founders of an academic research institute focused on researching what is the true nature of our reality. In other words, what is consciousness? By researching the diverse contact modalities where humans are having contact with non-human intelligence. The name of the organization is FREE or the Dr. Edgar Mitchell Foundation for Research into Extraterrestrial Encounters. Uh, Dr. Edgar Mitchell, Apollo 14 astronaut, Dr. Rudy Shield, an emeritus professor of astrophysics at Harvard University, and Mary Rodwell, a, uh, an experiencer researcher out of Australia, uh, are the other co-founders. I am currently employed as an estate tax attorney with the U.S. Department of Treasury, and live in Miami, Florida with my wife and 14-year-old daughter. I was previously an adjunct professor for six years at the New School for Social Research and at the City University of New York. I graduated with honors from Rutgers College. I was a master's candidate at Cornell University, and I also was a PhD candidate at the University of California at Berkeley, uh, which is the university that has most, uh, the most Nobel Prize winners in the world. Uh, I was also the recipient of a National Science Foundation PhD fellowship, which is one of the most prestigious uh, academic PhD fellowships in the world. Now, given that foundation, uh, hopefully to establish my credibility, let me briefly discuss my contact experiences. Previous to March of 2012, I was like uh, most of humanity. I was totally clueless uh, to the contact phenomenon. I had no prior knowledge nor interest in UFOs, ETs, aliens, the paranormal, etc. All of this changed in March of 2012 when an intelligent energy being appeared in our living room and totally uh, medically healed our uh, dog, who uh, we were going to uh, euthanize that same day because she had a stroke the night before and she became totally paralyzed. The previous night, my wife was praying all night for an angelic intervention, and guess what? It occurred. <laughs> this energy being, uh, which was floating three feet off the ground, um, made my wife and my dog disappear right in front of me, and then put me to sleep for 45 minutes. And when I awoke, my wife was celebrating in the middle of our living room, uh, shouting that uh, the angels cured her, the angels cured her. And our 15-year-old, um, 
Jack Russell Terrier, instead of being totally paralyzed, she was now running around our living room like a teenager. Uh, this uh, experience, uh, as you can imagine, profoundly affected me and, and totally transformed my life. Over the next six months, my wife began to see numerous UFOs, uh, almost all of them uh, up close, uh, twice with her family members, uh, her mother and family members while she was on vacation in, in Mexico, and once while uh, here, uh, right outside her house. Uh, she even saw three eight foot tall human looking beings dressed in white monk's robes that floated in front of her and then disappeared. My wife has had also numerous paranormal contact experiences as well. Uh, six months after my initial experience, my then uh, 10 year old daughter and three adult friends saw a football stadium sized UFO that was less than five feet on top of my next door neighbor's roof. Telepathic communications and mind control took place during this encounter. My daughter and I were within 30 feet of this football stadium sized craft for over 45 minutes. Uh, needless to say, uh, I rarely discuss publicly that I was the one that actually initially called down this craft. I had wanted to see the same craft that my wife had seen uh, back in, uh, in early July. I also had a series of near-death experiences uh, uh, instigated by this non-human intelligence that has been interacting with me where I was shown that we were eternal spiritual beings and that there indeed exists a universal creator. Equally important, in May of 2013, I had a major out-of-body experience where I was communicated by non-human intelligence. I was instructed in the physics of consciousness uh, and in the quantum hologram theory of consciousness and on the interrelationship between all of the various contact modalities. For example, that uh, near-death experiences, out-of-body experiences, UFO-related contact, channeling, uh, the sightings of ghosts and spirits, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that they're all interrelated. It, they're, these are not separate phenomena, but it, indeed it's one phenomenon. Later that same afternoon, I was uh, contacted uh, first by Mary Rodwell, um, who is one of the major researchers in this field. I previously never met Mary before. The next day at 9.30 in the morning, I received a phone call from uh, Harvard astrophysicist, Dr. Rudy Shield. Um, and then later that afternoon, uh, Rudy put me in contact with Dr. Edgar Mitchell, who invited me to his house uh, the very next day. Uh, free began at the home of Dr. Edgar Mitchell. Uh, previous to this day, I had never met Mary, Edgar, or Rudy. By the end of the second day, uh, all of these individuals became the co-founders of Free, together with myself. Uh, as you can tell, this uh, series of coordinated events, after I had uh, my one and only out-of-body experience, contact experience, was obviously not a coincidence. There have been many other contact experiences, but this will have to suffice for now. Uh, remember, it is uh, crucially important for each and every one of you to quote unquote, come out of the closet, to inform humanity that these contact experiences are indeed very real. Humanity must be awakened and transformed by this new reality, a reality of contact with non-human intelligence. I thank you.